California cities enacted some severe water restrictions during the last drought, but after two wet winters in a row, most of those rules have now been canceled. They have, but there's one local town where a controversial car wash ban has remained in effect until now. Vehicles in the city of Davis may soon be a little less dirty. For more than two years, people who live here have been prohibited from washing their own cars at home. I did not even know that, and I don't really agree with it necessarily. It was part of a series of water conservation measures approved in 2022 because of the extreme drought. That's when Governor Newsom ordered water districts to cut back usage by 20%. At the time, the city said it would make a big difference. 16 million gallons or 50 acre feet per year is what our consultant had estimated. Since then, the only way people could clean their vehicles was to go to a commercial car wash where water is recycled or a low flow hose is used. We got to try to be mindful, do our part. I think that's very difficult to enforce, honestly and people are gonna do what they're gonna do. But this week, Davis City leaders voted to rescind the car wash ban. The motion carries 5-0. Although there are some very specific rules that still have to be followed. It's called the two bucket method. One bucket has soapy water and the other holds clean water to rinse. No more than two gallons of water can be used in each bucket. Well, that's pretty good, honestly. Maybe I'll try to do it, you know. Maybe I can do it myself. The city says the change is more equitable, since having to pay for a car wash can be a financial hardship for some. The wash here is like 12 bucks, I think. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. I think it's great that you're able to wash your own car. The car wash ban has now been moved into a higher tier of conservation measures that could still be brought back in the future if water supplies run short. Now, Davis still has a water restriction on using landscape sprinklers more than three times a week.